and the modern IoT systems operate with a huge data generated from IoT devices. The amount of data generated by sensors, devices, social networks, medical applications, and various other software applications and digital devices that continuously generate a large amount of structured, unstructured, uh, or semi structured data. As a result, there are problems associated with the transmission, processing, and storage of data. There are various scientific and practical approaches to solving these problems. From the point of view of computational approaches and IoT architectures, systems uh, are divided into two polarities, cloud computing and edge computing. But key issues related to data processing on the first point of sensor network and IoT devices are still relevant and unresolved. Early was presented method, method for reducing the amount of data transmitted and stored in IoT systems, which based on correlation processing. Instead of expensive and complex network devices, developers can use cheap and proven low-speed solutions like ZigBee and BIoT and Bluetooth Low Energy. Modern trend is increasing sampling frequency. For a deep and accurate analysis, critical modes are most important, especially in the evaluation process. As the sample rate increases, new events can be detected that can bring completely new information to end users. On sensor data processing more effective in the second case. The presented model of the system is based on correlators, which store a copy of signal with a full and reduced length of the correlation sequence. So we can reduce amount of transmitted and stored data. Consider the model of IoT system from the point of view of basic devices that transmit, receive and process data, as well as key characteristics. It's assumed that all data processing is carried out in digital, not analog form. That is, even when transmitting data from sensor to the processor, we operate with data samples. Uh, the sensor, processor, and the modem form uh, the end device module. So let's define key parameters related to data transmissions. Uh, so we can say about processing delay and uh, we should minimize this delay. We analyzed three methods, bypass, uh, simple threshold, and the correlation method. Our results are presented in the table one. Uh, the direct method is the most expensive in terms of data required for transmission and the storage, and, uh, up to 68 gigabytes per one hour. A simple threshold method uh, Give up to 30 gigabytes per one hour. And choosing a threshold level in real world condition is difficult. However, the value of information received is limited. Additional analysis is required on the receiving side, that means in the cloud. Also, we research utilization of hardware resources, FPGA based implementation, and results are also presented in Table 2 for 8, 10, and 14 bits. Uh, in conclusion, when increasing the filter order n by 2 times from n equal 4 to n, the amount of required resources increases by 4 times, and with increasing n by 8 times from n equal 4 to 32, 
the amount of required resources increases by 16 times. Same dependence you can see on figure 5. Uh, for example, for 8 bits, when increasing the filter order n by 2 times, from 4 to 8, uh, the number of required resources increase by 5 times. Uh, total processing delay corresponds to n in filter order. And uh, another important tool for improving the efficiency of proposed correlation method of processing on the end device in terms of IT system is the using of proprietary IT protocols to further reduce the volume due to the service information transmitted packet. Uh, with increase in order of the filter N, there is no liner increase in the required resources. And the maximum operation frequency of max in system performance is achieved by minimizing the bit depth of the system and minimizing the order of the filter N. Uh, here we proposed expression that define the balance between frequency of characters, the order of the filter and bandwidth of communication channel between the modem and the gates. Thank you.